Hey guys, what's up? Bisected Trend here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video. And in this one, we're taking a look at the war against uh, Reddit Templars. Was a good war. Uh, Templars, I'm not sure. Uh, but it was a good war. Uh, both sides did a very good job. And we're going to see some awesome attacks from this one, specifically some Town Hall 8 attacks, especially. Big focus on that this war, because I know you guys want to see that. And it's very rare that I get the opportunity to show it because uh, there's usually not Town Hall 8s in. One Hive Genesis. So anyway, um, I'll get to this in just a moment, but first I want to thank you guys for the support uh, many of you have given to Genesis. Really appreciate it. Uh, obviously going through a uh, pretty important time right now as we kind of are finding our own identity as a family of One Hive Genesis and One Hive Alpha since the split. But um, and a lot of has gone on in the comments of the last video. And uh, I just can't address all of it. I'm just I'm too busy, like I said, with testing and stuff. And uh, you guys just have to kind of take a bit of a leap of faith. And trust me, uh, as far as what I'm saying in the video, I guess, because I can't specifically answer every question uh, to try to reassure you guys. So uh, I'm sorry for that. But uh, I just want to say that you know we're going as far to send someone to the person's to see this person in person. To like their house or something like we're really taking this seriously so uh, regardless of whether or not one of his other accounts remains in the clan I think you guys can rest assured that we do not allow modding in any way whether it's a leader or someone who just joined the clan we treat it the same so uh, steps are being taken I mean I, I don't really want to go into the details I mean it's raging on in the comments right now as far as oh can you switch to a town hall 4 and when your accounts already banned and stuff like that it just gets really complicated and honestly I think that if you just look at the situation as a whole you can see we're really doing our best to try to figure this out and uh, even though this is all originating from one of his accounts remaining in the clan during the investigation I think you can be assured he's not in war or doing any leadership activities we're taking care of it I don't want to spend too much time on this I want to get to the attacks because it was a good war and uh, taking a look at this one we have some no town hall 11s just some town hall 10s and uh they left quite a few of our town hall nines uh two starred not three starred so especially up top there like you saw i think like three three of them or so maybe four uh we only left one of them uh two star or two starred yeah and uh up top we got all the town hall 10s th uh two starred as they did to us and then their 9.5s were three starred so a uh, very good war to both sides. Just the difference was we were able to clean up the Town Hall 9s a little bit better. And I think Town Hall 9's been pretty balanced as of lately, even with the new Valks, because uh, as we're seeing, a lot of top level clans still aren't quite able to clear them. And might just be a fluke, but uh, I think that's, uh, I, I think Town Hall 9s are still enjoying the game and uh, we're still seeing some diversity as far as what attacks are coming. So anyway, uh, good war, like I said. Look, taking a look at the first attack here by Fahim on number eight, uh, doing a Govaho, which we'll see a little bit of. I'm going to keep it as diversified as possible. You guys already saw a lot of these attacks uh, in the last video on the background. So uh, you, you guys have already seen quite a few Town Hall 9 attacks. I'm not showing any Town Hall 10 attacks, though, just because... Uh, it was only two stars as far as the real Town Hall 10s goes, not counting the 9.5s. Uh, but anyway, uh, on this attack, we're taking a look at Fahim, and he's going to go ahead and put a jump down. Uh, that one golem was lured out, and it kind of went in a weird circle around just trying to catch up with his troops. The queen and the wizard do engage it right here, so I think he has to pop the ability, uh, but no big deal. You can see the Valks made their way through with the king. They cleared out a, bit, a pretty big uh, part of this base. That one heal was a little bit off, but no big deal. He still has a bunch of 10s. Sorry about that. I still have uh, some notifications left on, which I'm trying to get rid of. But anyway, uh, the Valks kind of clear out the core of the base, eliminating that double giant bomb set, and the hogs sweep their way through. Uh, all these defenses are distracted. Just has a ton of hogs left up at the end of this attack. So if you can get the, the Valks to go through the, the middle of the base, the hogs are great to kind of sweep their way around the outside and uh, crushes this base. The queen's still up. Uh, she dealt with that golem and kept moving forward. Awesome attack to Fahim. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Times four. Only going to take a look at one more Town Hall 9 attack. Like I said, I already saw quite a few of them in the last video. It's going to be number 14. And uh, by the way, I know that uh, WHF2, we went against them. 
there was no recap. I apologize for that. Uh, sometimes, I, I mean, I obviously don't recap every war. I try to recap the uh, arranged wars, but as you can see, we've had like a ton of good uh, arranged war quality wars. So I can't do a re recap every day. I want to keep it mixed up a little bit. So no recap from that, but have a good recap from this war. And uh, this one is Anthony. He's taken on 14. Obviously a cleanup because he knows that that Tesla is by the builder's hut. But one thing I really like is just making making use of the, the giant there. He has those healers anyway for his queen. So what he's doing here is making it so he doesn't need to bring a rage. He's dropping down that giant first. Only drops two of the healers, so the giant does die. He wants to make sure that happens, so the healers eventually get onto the queen. But does it just long enough that the queen is able to uh, clear out all this stuff, along with a few wizards. So basically, she's coming right in uh, and doesn't have to use a rage or anything. So you can be a little bit uh, cheeky with those giants and get some good value if you drop the healers on them first. And then make sure the giant dies and they'll switch over to your queen. Uh, anyway, though, uh, goes ahead and puts wall breakers in his CC. Like I said, a little bit unreliable, but uh, the Valks beat through the wall n nonetheless, and they're on into the base. That uh, one golem has busted, but no big deal. The Valks are the main uh, star of the show here, and uh, drops the rage for the queen because she's dealing with the Tesla farm as well as that expo. But uh, she does great against Tesla farms, just rage her up, and she can mow right through all of those Teslas, getting great value. I like the choice of the quakes there. Um, big opening has to make sure that uh, the base is open for a while so the Valks have time to go from compartment to compartment. Also let the queen in so that's cool when your queen meets up with your kill squad uh, on the same place using the same quake spells. So very good there. And that, that nice little uh, area where he knows his hogs are going to be safe. He's pretty confident there's going to be no giant bombs especially because it's right near the queen and just sends those hogs through. Gets great value for like the 10 or 12 that he brings converging on the last few defenses. So that's what you want to do. Identify where the hogs can be sent through and use the kill squad to get everything else. Uh, that's typically how I recommend doing it. See where your hogs are going to go first and then from there figure out where you want your kill squad to go, not vice versa because the hogs should be the priority as far as finding where they can go. Anyway though, awesome attack to Anthony, another TH9 3 star. We're going to go down and take a look at three Town Hall 8s and uh, just because a lot of you guys have asked for this and I want to make sure that when I do have Town Hall 8 attacks, I definitely want to show them. So we're taking a look. Oh, wrong one. Not that. We had to have a Town Hall 9 dip down actually for that one. Uh, we're taking a look at 35. My, my bad. Uh, a few Town Hall 8s did escape us, as you can see there, uh, which, you know, it happens. Uh, I think, actually, I'm not sure if it happened on their side or not. I, I'm not sure if they had to dip at all. But I know uh, it does happen every once in a while. And a little bit embarrassing, but it is what it is. Uh, we're looking at Knight Ridas. I believe this is a fresh hit. And you can see he was not expecting the Teslas there. Went in for the CC lure, but didn't quite get it. Goes ahead and decides just to start on with the attack, which I would recommend doing. Especially because he ran out of hogs, so I guess he doesn't have much of a choice. But um, anyway, here come uh, the Golem and a few Valks. Goes ahead and uh, uh, brings that Golem of his own. Uh, and then a few Valks to back it up. Uh, you can see has the Quakes there. The Valks do get a little bit weird on him and start going for that other wall. So th things are going a little bit tricky right now. The Packet comes out of the CC. Luckily the Valks are able to get through it pretty quickly. Goes ahead and drops down that heel. And I think a f just a Valk or two might have went actually where he wanted them to go. But the good news is he still gets value because those Valks take out uh, that little side compartment there. The Golem and the Wizards are still moving forward. And his main goal here is obviously to get to those three air defenses, get them taken out so he can use balloons on the back end of this base. Uh, you can see luckily there's not a whole lot of defenses in the area, so the first air defense goes down pretty easily. Uh, decided to use the heel right there, which I think is a good choice. Keep that golem up and uh, just take advantage of the wizards he has behind it. But you can see because these defenses are so offset, he goes ahead and sends the balloons in uh, already just to, uh, to start taking out some of these defenses. Uh, that one air defense is starting to fire, but the thing is, all that's pretty much left is the air defenses now. So uh, the few troops he does have are going to be able to make their way around. Still has the wizards, a uh, few minions, those last few balloons will get shot down. But besides that cannon, everything else is down, and that golem's going to be on it in just a moment. So let's go ahead and go times two, because uh, it is going to take a little while, but these wizards will get the job done. Uh, nice adjustments there to Knight Riders. 
obviously things go wrong, but got the three star nonetheless. Awesome job. All right, go ahead and get this one to an end. And we'll take a look at number 35. Or no, 35 just looked at, 37, my bad. Uh, Robbie. And uh, doing kind of an old fashioned hog attack. It's, you know, it's not gonna be all uh, all Valks at Town Hall 8. You see that quite often. And like I said, when you do see that, you typically wanna bring Valks or uh, typically Valks in the CC rather than Hogs, I think. But your choice on that one, I guess. Anyway though, just gets the easy CC lure, goes ahead and drops down the poison and lets those troops run through it. So uh, obviously the troops will run out of the poison if, if they're just standing in it idly. But if you have something for them to run to, you can get them at least to run through the poison, which will take out a lot of small troops usually. Didn't quite take out everything there, but just finishes it, finishes it off with a few wizards and barbs. So pretty cheap CC kill, and got that all-important double giant bomb set. Uh, knowing that, he can pretty much just hog the rest of the space. This is a cleanup attack. I love how he uses that king to tank for the two Teslas there. Great use of it. The king is not just a cleanup troop on these... Uh, straight hog attacks because he has that hit points you might as well get used from it so drop him down and uh, you'll get pretty good value especially because he got a few shots in that king the king does get away from uh, his king but he did a little bit of damage to him and uh, he's dealing with a few of those goblins that were left over uh, it pops the ability he'll actually get the uh, defensive king now that he runs back out to engage him uh, comes through with the hogs though has the heal for that giant bomb Pretty much all these defenses are, are, are dead at this point. Just has one archer tower left. Doesn't even need that last heal. So crushes this base. Awesome attack to Robby. Love the use of the king. And uh, getting the double giant bomb trigger is also a great thing to do if you're getting the CC lure. Sometimes if it's only like three or four defenses deep, you can just send in, you know, seven, eight hogs. Get that job done. Sometimes it's a good trade. Even if you have to invest a heal spell. Uh, don't underestimate the value of triggering that double giant bomb set on the lure, or at least negating it by taking out enough defenses. So awesome attack to Robby. Uh, we are going to take a look at one more uh, Town Hall 8 attack. Just go uh, one below, I believe, to take a look at Joshua. And uh, this base is very under upgraded as far as walls go, but the defenses are just one under uh, being maxed out. Didn't have, th th there was some low level Town Hall 8s, uh, but I wanted to show you guys, I believe this is a fresh hit, so that's kind of why I wanted to show it, if I remember correctly when I was picking these attacks. So anyway though, uh, drops down the Quake spell, and you can see, you know, if you're using Quakes, you have to find a way to deal with these CC troops at Town Hall 8, and this is, can be a good method, although Valks can wreak a little bit of havoc, because they take out your barbs so quick, you can't just drop down those barbs and then use... Uh, wizards to take down the dragon and the balloons because a lot of times people don't bring dragons and balloons so uh, has to invest quite a bit of troop space but gets the job done you can see has to use pretty much all his wizards here to create the funnel and uh, as long I mean at Town Hall 8 the three minutes typically is gonna be plenty so rather than risk your troops going to the outside if you are low on wizards I would just say go ahead and uh, use all of them to create the funnel. Use a few Valks if you have to. Make sure your stuff goes inside the base because as long as it does, you should be able to get the three star. You should have enough time to get uh, the job done. Anyway though, still has I think two heals because uh, he didn't bring any poisons. Goes ahead and drops the first one. Awesome placement there. The Valks are going to take all of that out. You can see at Town Hall 8, because like I said earlier, people want to put that double giant bomb set pretty deep in the base. Uh, to avoid people from using a few hogs, a few sacrificial hogs to trigger it. That's why people want to, typically are going to put it so deep into the base. But when they do when they do that, that opens up a Valk attack. Because if you can get inside the core, you can take out some key defenses and, the, and uh, take out the double giant bomb set, which allows your hogs to go around the outside of the base. And from there, it's pretty much over. Uh, you can see the Valks, those powerful level 5 Valks, uh, just destroy any Town Hall 8 base because uh, they're so tanky and they do quite a bit of damage and uh, after the update they move so fast through a base so anyway awesome attack to Joshua using the Valks hope you guys enjoyed this video I mean obviously I know a lot of people are here for the Town Hall 10 content just wasn't any Town Hall 10 3 stars on true Town Hall 10s this war and uh, only a few Town Hall 9s to show because you already saw some of those so mainly a Town Hall 8 focused video hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, one last time thanks for the support I really appreciate it 
Uh, so does everyone at One Hive Genesis, and uh, I hope that this incident isn't going to cause you guys to stop watching the channel or anything like that, because I can assure you, uh, you know, we're going as far as to visit this guy in person. This is a thing we take really seriously. So, I mean, regardless of whether his account is still in the clan, uh, I think you can trust that we are still strongly anti-modding and uh, 1.0 deciding to break up with us. It happens. I'm not sure that it's completely uh, directly related to what to what happened with the uh, the incident with the suspected modding, but whatever it is, I think we're still going to be fine. Uh, we still have a very strong infrastructure as far as our clan goes, and we look forward to continuing to grow the family to possibly make other clans or just uh, expand and make uh, or make Genesis and Alpha better. So I uh, really appreciate the support one last time. Thank you guys so much. And like I said, I am a bit busy right now, but I'll do my best to keep the uploads coming. Hope you guys enjoyed this recap, and uh, I'm looking forward to making some more videos this week when I can. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.